Okay, you've got F model. Next, grab these files from the description that I've linked. After that, go to the top of F model and click on directory, then selector. A window should pop up, which means you did the right thing. Good job, aren't you a smart fella? Mine here looks different since I've done this before, but all you need to do is copy and paste the path of the game's directory. Well, how do we do this? This is pretty easy. Open Steam, go to Omega Strikers in your library, right click, properties, installed files, browse, click on the address bar, control C, and you're done. Okay, now you have the game's directory path. Go back and paste that into this bar here and press OK. F model should restart now and you have two files listed here. We still can't use these though, so in order to do this we have to go to the top and press settings. A window should pop up, so you should see this right now. We need to change the client's UE version to match the game's UE version. Currently the game is on UE 5.1, so we will select the UE 5.1 option. We then go to the bottom and see mapping path file. This is where the file you downloaded earlier comes in. Press the three dots and click on the mappings.us map file. We're all done in the settings, so you can go ahead and click OK, and F model should restart for the last time. Okay, to use F model to get into the game files, you need to click on the Omega Strikers Windows Pack. You should now see two options Engine and Omega Strikers. Click the drop down arrow next to Omega Strikers, then Content, Prometheus, Characters. Wait, what the fuck? Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. If you haven't used any software to access game files before, then you won't know that developers usually use different names for things in the files compared to what they are actually called in-game. Of course, these are only examples here. I'm not going to tell you what names are for what characters, instead I'll show you how to find out for yourself. There are two ways to know what you're looking at, and I'll show you the texture way first since this is a guide for that. First select one of your files, I'm going to be using Asher since I'll be using her later in the tutorial. Use the drop down arrow on default. The default file will always contain the base skin the characters have in game. We will be focusing on the texture file, so double click this one. You'll have tons of files up here, but before I continue, I should explain what the three tabs at the top do. You have archives, folders, and then packages. These are like your back page ones on Google. The packages tab will show you what is inside the folder that you clicked on. If you want to go back, you just click the folders tab at the top. You can ignore the archives folder unless you're trying to close everything out. Okay, lesson over. After that, inside the textures file, double click any of the files with underscore D in them to get a preview of what they are. The body, hair, or head usually give away what character it is. Once you finally went through and found the character that you're looking for, inside the textures folder, save every file with underscore D in it. And the LOD 1 PNG. Ignore the SSE files since you won't be editing them. If this isn't enough, then I'm going to explain the second method. Going back to the five files listed after clicking default, we want to instead double click the meshes folder. The mesh folder contains the 3D models of the characters. To find out which character this is, you need to double click the file that doesn't have anything after the word default. It is usually the shortest name file in the folder. If done correctly, a new window will pop up. You will see the fully textured model so you know 100% who they are. After closing that window, you want to save the 3D model. Go to the settings, and instead of general, go to models. Change the mesh format to ActorX. Your F model will restart, so just trace back to where you were before. You want to save the 3D model. You do this by right-clicking the file you just opened and click Save PSK. Well anyway, that's all from me. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my YouTube. I plan to make tutorials for all the parts of modding. This one's just the F model part, so there'll probably be more in the future. But that out of the way, have a good one guys. Take me to your Xbox to play Fortnite today. You can check in my Steam Iron, but not Loot Lake. I really love to chug chug with you. We can be pro Fortnite gamers.